right, in this video, we're going to discuss how to measure rafters to exact length. So far, we've been using the step off method, but the problem with the step off method sometimes is if you've got to step off for a really long rafter, little inaccuracies in stepping off can lead to uh, inaccurate length rafters. So, you know, for example, if you're like an eighth off every time you step off and you just don't line it up perfectly, you know, if you, it, eight, if you stepped off eight times and you're off an eighth of an inch every time, that's a, that, that can add up to an inch by the time you get uh, to your last step off. So it really does matter. I mean, stepping off can definitely work, especially if you have um, stair gauges that you can attach to your rafter, and that's what these things are right here. All right, so that way it's the same every single time. But there's definitely some other methods that you can double check and make sure that your step off is uh, as accurate as possible. The first thing that you can do is check on your rafter square. And it has all these numbers on it. And the one that we're going to focus right here, it says common rafter length. So for every pitch per foot, this is how much you're actually traveling when you're stepping off. So in reality, when you step off every 12 inches with your rafter square, with a pitch of uh, 512, your act the actual length of your step off is 13 inches. So for this example right here, a 512 pitch with, for a span um, of a building that has 16 feet, so the rafter is only half of that, so it's only eight feet, um, all you got to do is multiply, so it's 8 feet, so 8 times 13, which would be 8 foot 8 inches or 104 inches. Pretty simple to do that. The problem with doing that is that you have all these decimal points, and so if you're multiplying some of this stuff, and it gets a little bit uh, too much on the decimal side, and it's hard to convert it sometimes. But this is definitely something that you could do to figure out your exact rafter length. Here it says it on here, common rafter length per, you know, length per foot. So every time you're stepping off per foot, all right, you're actually traveling a certain distance. Like, you know, like I said, 512, you're actually traveling 13 inches. 612, every time you step off, you're actually traveling 13.42 inches. Now that method does work. Like I said, the decimals kind of get in the way. An even easier method is to use this blue book. Now this thing is made by Swanson. There's other books out there called the Framers Bible and uh, Roofers Bible and stuff like that. And you can look it up and you can actually just look up the actual length of the rafter itself. So... <clears throat> To find your rafter, exact rafter length, all right, you look in your book and there's spans from three foot, I think it goes to 40 feet. I mean, the, I mean, there's plenty of uh, common spans in here. So, and they're by foot. So let's just take this example of 16 feet. So if your building was 16 feet wide um, and you had a pitch of, you know, we'll just keep the same, 512, your actual rafter length is eight foot eight inches, and so it's pretty simple, all right. So this is this is the actual rafter length, and it tells you it all. Now, I wonder if you had a a span that wasn't so clear cut, um, that it was you know maybe sixteen if the span was sixteen uh, feet ten inches, then you would do the sixteen, which is the eight foot eight which is 140 inches, plus, all right, 10 inches, all right, that you need to add on to that. And so you could go, so uh, let's say 5, 12 pitch, all right, adding the 10 inches, which is in reality, um, it's only 5 and 3 eighths inch that you're adding onto your actual rafter, and there it is. And so your total length would be 109 and 3 eighths. So what you're actually measuring is from 
your plum cut at the top that's going to be either resting against the other rafter or resting against the other resting against the ridge or i mean um and the actual uh where your bird's mouth heel cut is all right so that's the rafter length that we're talking about it doesn't include the tail at all so it's just from here to here is the rafter length we're talking about when you look at it into the book now if you really want to you can do the pythagorean theorem it takes a while um there's a lot of room for error it helps if you have a calculator but um it's definitely something that you could do to find it um so rafters themselves don't always have to be two by fours or two by twelves they could be two by six or two by fours or two by sixes to match the plates it could be up to two by twelve but you can either have something wider like a big lvl as your rafters it could be anything like here it looks like probably two by tens all right it could be anything it could even be a four by lumber all right these are like four by sixes um, these might be exposed rafters uh, that you could see on the inside churches sometimes have those um, it's just a different kind of style so just to review the C cut is what actually rests on the plate and the heel cut is what rests on the wall and that makes the whole entire bird's mouth for your rafter now the C cut in general needs to be no more than a third of the entire board width so that could be uh, an issue if you have to make your C cut and you only have like a little bit left here all right that means that it's too weak to be installed and you gotta uh, use a wider board so the next thing we have to go over is the ridge board it's a ridge board if it's only a singular two by lumber like a two by ten or a two by eight it's a ridge beam if it's multiple two by tens or two by eights nailed together or if it's an lvl that's usually means it's a ridge beam so it's really just the size of it here that's a ridge ridge uh beam right here that's an lvl this is a ridge uh, board right here and look how bad these rafters are attached all right so when you attach your rafters to the ridge you want to make you want it nice and tight this right here is way too long it's open at the top short but in touching the bottom when it's too short it touches the top open at the bottom these are also pretty unacceptable just bad cuts all right to be attached for framing now Stalin Lopez construction is a construction company that posts on social media and posts some really nice work if you want to check it out look how straight that ridge is I mean just beautiful work you can even just tell going down the line that all these rafters are cut really nice and tight all the rafters cut here are cut really nice and tight so they're they're pretty uh, good so that's what you want there's your ridge board all right <clears throat> all right so this right here I'll go over it a little bit more uh, in depth in a demonstration video but you have to be able to find the actual ridge beam height all right which is up here and so what you do is you multiply the rise times the um, run all right which would be this divided by 12 plus the height above plate which is right here so you add you do that calculation you're gonna get um, what you need all right the ridge board up here all right is, is sometimes held up by a ridge post this ridge post will help you set this ridge beam where exactly where you need it and it kind of just helps hold this ridge beam in place and at the correct height so there's a ridge post right there and then your ridge beam and then they are right there there's your rafters all right the last part of them are is that what we might install on our boards is collar ties and if you have a, in your area that has a lot of strong wind all it is a board you know, attaching both 
all right, rafters together. All it is is a board uh, that prevents the in high wind situations, all right, the roof from blowing off, all right, and, and then the and the rafters uh, coming apart, and, or snow it prevents the rafter from bowing, so that'll also have it do. If you have like five foot of snow on your roof, hopefully it'll give it some rigidity and some strength, so it doesn't collapse in. All right, that concludes <coughs> ra um, exact rafter measurements and ridge height.